1214 on the beat 99.9 FM. That is Low J featuring Olamide with Arizona. It's a wonderful Friday. My name is Nicole and this is the Midday Show. What is up, Lagos? Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. You know the 12 o'clock hour means it is time for hot topics. And one of the hottest topics out right now is there's some new music on the block. And as we commit the new music comes greatness. And I have greatness sitting in front of me. Hello, Scales. Hello, Chris Beats. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Hello. hey, 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 happy Friday. <laughs> yes, so happy Friday, happy Friday. How are you guys feeling today? Amazing. I know, Chris, you literally just had a conversation with BB, <laughs> but we we love you. So we want to have you again, okay? Thank and you. Scales, this is not your first rodeo here at Beat 99. Yeah. You are you are family at this yeah, point. Yeah. But this is our first meeting. <laughs> yes, so it's yes, great it to meet you. Same here, man. So this is our first meeting. Well, I'm guessing you guys have known each other for <laughs> quite some time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so where did the relationship stem from? How did you guys even first come together? Um, well, it started from Tempa, as a song I made called Tempa. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I, I, if you know me, I'm always disturbing and looking for producers every time. So I linked up with Chris B. That's where the journey started for us. We did the first one and he entered and I hit him up. Hey, I want more. <laughs> you know? yeah. And he's like, oh, I have one for you. And I went to meet him and, you know, we made... Uh, the other one. <laughs> yeah, the other one with Sakodi. I don't know if I can say that. You're like, how do you say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so, you know, that, and it worked. So I was like, I just kept going for more. You know, and that's how the relationship just continued. And, you know, and this one, this new one now just happened. I was like, you know, um, why don't we? The funny thing is, we've been trying to make a project for like two, three years yeah. now. You know, yeah. we make projects and I end up stealing the songs. I'm oh. like, yo, yeah, exactly. so I want to release, I want to release it. How you do know? you feel when artists do that? <laughs> so he has a way of doing that. He, do, I think we've done that now for like three, four songs. So yeah. the other song was supposed to be, oh, Chris, this is your song. We're putting this out. Then I get a call from Skills, like, mm, you know what, Chris? I think, I think, let me put this on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. But like you're saying one day you guys are going to come together and do like a collaborative body of work mm-hmm. yes. together yeah very soon look each other in the eye you know, i mean yes. sure. yes. this, 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 this is just a tip of the iceberg yeah, yeah? yeah. yeah. that is fantastic so this song is going yes. is going is gone it's it's cool. low, as they like to say sometimes yeah. so what's the inspiration behind this song man this is um honestly this happened based off of like if you've been following me online i've just been having like a world with tantrums it. and mm. Mm meltdowns and stuff I mean, but we'll it's like it. it's real it's real i, I want to say real s-h-i-t that mm-hmm. i'm going through with my life like you know, some people think it's clout but it's like crazy stuff that's going from relationships to to the crazy people we have in the industry messing with me to you know to beefs to <laughs> to heartbreaks so, so you know all of that is like my new sound now is just me because i realized that the only way i can heal is if i probably talk about it and I, I don't trust people so i can't talk about it to other people so for me it's the music and that's how that's why when chris beat you know wanted to he gave me the when he sent me the beat actually when he sent me the beat and that's what i just decided to put on it to just talk about you know regardless of what it is life is still good mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah i'm chris Beats, i'm sure you just have like a bunch of beats just laying around that you just be sending out to people. No, so, so when, he, when he says that it made sense to me because it was about the same time i lost my dad oh, wow, so, so sorry. it was just the the energy was just right like okay yes yeah. this is the let's do this you know so yeah. it really does sound like life has been happening to both of you yeah. as it's happening to us also um skills i'm just going to come back to you first so you really mm. just said like you have been going through a lot and you know Crazy you're a public stuff. figure so yeah. people people get to see um the personal sides of you online mm. sometimes so you just want to just like talk about anything you're going through right now that you just feel like you need to get off your chest whether it's dating or i don't know art school says you dated a, a lot of people <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of women what's <sighs> well for you <laughs> i just feel like so this is it i'm a broken man right now i don't believe in love anymore <sighs> yeah. no love in lagos so just no love in the world just i just believe that human beings are selfish like mm. there's really no love is either so people love you for there's a motive behind every love right now mm. and it's crazy because i feel like the realest love is still the uh, my, my mom's love you know and god maybe god's love I, I even though in a way i'm telling myself okay i'm offending god because god is love you know yeah and but i'm just talking about the human form of love is <laughs> is 
It's like there's none of but that. But do you end. think you're adding to the problem? Are you? You're saying there's nobody's uh, showing genuine love right now. Are you showing genuine? I believe love? I'm not adding to the problem. I believe I, I'm. A, I believe <laughs> I'm a great person that is in a wrong generation. Ah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I sometimes believe I was born in the wrong time. Yeah. What happened to chivalrous men? You know what, what I mean? What happened what? to men opening the door for you, buying you flowers just because it's a Wednesday? Man. You know? <laughs> it's like it's like there's no it's like there's a competition now between the men and the women. Yeah. You know, who can outsmart each other? Yeah, you know, just it's just a lot of people. Do you think it's a Nigerian thing? Um, I do think it's a worldwide problem. I just think us as Nigerians, when we take a hold of something, we do it to the max. We do absolutely everything to the max. You want to cheat? No one's going to cheat past in Nigeria. <laughs> I didn't say man or woman, you know, before they say, ah, they always say Nigerian men, Nigerian men. Yeah. But you're Nigerian men, though. You're Nigerian men, I mean, there's, there's, good, there's good people like me, you know. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, someone that just said he doesn't believe in love. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't, yeah, but that's because I'm a broken person. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, I'm... I'm I'm, I believe I'm healing. Well, is it anything recently that happened to you that you say is is still putting keeping you in this mindset that you can't really? Yeah, love I hang anybody? out. I hang out with a lot of females. What what if from? Because somebody will say, well, maybe it's the kind of fem females you hang out with. Maybe skills. What kind of females do you think I hang out with? Like, come on. Like, you really want me to answer? <laughs> no, <Nah>, of course. <laughs> it's like some. I sit down with females and every day, not just females, even my friends, guys. I sit down and every day I'm like. This generation is totally lost. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. It's crazy. Maybe mm -hmm. because I grew up with someone that was really, I mean, my family was broken too, but, you know, like I have an experience of love still, like yeah. love, true love. So like seeing what I'm seeing now is like, it's crazy, man. Everybody is like, it's like, it's a circle. Everybody just gets recycled. Yes. Swipe, the swipe, The same swipe. people, you know what I mean? So it's like, what about you, Chris Beats? Are you still a fan of love or is it dead oh, and gone? Yes, definitely. So for me, you see, you see how I'm looking, like trying to learn from what he's talking about. So um, for me, I'm good right now. I pray he never gets there, you know, where mm -hmm. I feel like, you know. So um, um, I believe everyone has, that there's always going to be something you don't like about life and yeah. about love, you know. So um skills is a very deep person he takes things to the heart you know so i understand where he's coming from when he says um i, I don't do this so for me is i'm still i'm still testing new water so i'm still trying to of course i love love to be honest it sounds like there's somebody in your life that you're, not, you're trying not to offend <laughs> <laughs> no 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 to be honest no to be honest i love love mm -hmm. but is there somebody special in your life i used to oh, love yes. love too you know you used to I, if you, skills, you know, I, skills, I used you to love love. love you know? I used to, <laughs> but 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 falling in love right now is such a dangerous thing. Right? <sighs> That's what I'm going to say. It is it a bit is dangerous. dangerous, and especially I, I, if you fall for the wrong one, because. Yeah. The, I do understand what you're trying to say, where there are a lot of selfish people out there right now. Mm -hmm. And with the way um, men and women are, you know, just so disposable because mm -hmm. of the, the digital age we're in, everybody's just trying to see what they can get from you and mm -hmm. move on to the next one. Yeah. So it's hard. So, Skill, you keep calling yourself a broken man. What is what, what would you say you are doing to fix yourself? You know, you you got to take responsibility um, for the, the brokenness. <laughs> I honestly, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good question. Really, what am I doing? I'm trying my best, honestly. <laughs> that's all yeah. I'm gonna say. And that's what you can I'm do. trying my best, you know. I'm making music, you know. Talk about I'm it. singing my heart out in the music now, you know, to talk about what is really happening to me. And I, because okay, so the tr true story is, you know, I'm like the only flesh and blood from my family that's alive right now. I have no uncle, oh no God. auntie. So it's part of that that is affecting me. I'm beginning to understand that and. You know, I'm talking about it because I feel like that's my own therapy. Like, I need to just talk about it. And also, as I talk more about it, I feel like someone will be inspired by my life. Yeah. And see how, no matter what is going on around me, I'm still going at it, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not just getting depressed. Even though sometimes I sound like I'm depressed, but I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? But everything is going to be fine. And what's, and what's your, I hope these aren't intrusive questions. What's yeah. your supportive system like? Are you like you know in therapy or do you have people around you that you can open up to and talk to you know i told you i trust nobody <laughs> so really but i only no, just i no, only just no trust man, god no man is an island you know yeah. and human beings were not made to be alone yeah you know that I'm, until i find that person because i'm, I'm looking out though i still have faith that there's going to be you know but i don't 
you know how like like i just said i don't have like that maybe a mom or a dad uh, you could talk to and you know yeah. feel better so really for now i'm just talking to god <laughs> you know but yeah if they're for but big up my friends my friends do their best honestly my friends my team you know they try their best to make me feel good but you know like like i said i'm just trying to heal and there's a lot of damage that's been done that you know needs healing mm -hmm. and maybe from there yeah you know. Ooh, this this night this country it can do a lot <laughs> to one's mental health because yeah. I, I i read a book about both of you just before you came in here mm -hmm. and i feel like i can relate a lot of things that happen because just last week i had a an incident that happened to me on the road where a bus driver smashed into my car it was oh, wow. crazy so i know a lot of road incidents be happening and i read an article where you were involved in something similar recently yeah. so tell me a bit about that incident and like did it affect you in any way yes yes it's still affecting us as you just even spoke about it the image just <laughs> came back so i was driving um on the lake Yekpe expressway and from nowhere i just saw a girl just run into my car oh my and i saw her body in the air like she landed with her uh. head <laughs> Bro, i was so scared because um well i saw her like folding mm. and stuff yeah so I didn't know what to do. First of all, I paused in the car because I've never had an accident in my life. That's the first time. So I dropped down and I picked her up because the only thing for me was I just wanted her to be okay. So I put her in the car. All, all the people were watching. They were not doing anything because I was saying, help, help, help. Nobody was. So I just put her in the car. My own was I was going to make a call and find the hospital. Then some boys just came from nowhere. They say, oh, sorry, we saw everything. It's not your fault, blah, 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 blah. They came. I said, please follow me. Let's go to the hospital together so at least you know where she's at and we can find her family. So went to the hospital to God be the glory. Um, well, they should I say there was the word resuscitated her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, um, yeah, they told me she was gonna be fine. It's just her head because she landed on her head, so it's swollen. And they said they just want to monitor her and do maybe run some tests and see. Wow, yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy experience, man. I thought I killed somebody. Wow, <laughs> yeah, That's I wouldn't have, I would have probably never been the same mm -hmm. again in my mm -hmm. life, and all. But I'm, I'm grateful to God that she's okay. That's wild. I'm so sorry you went through that experience Man. and it's just unfortunate because you never know what that young girl was rushing for in her own life that she felt the need to, to do that, yeah to run. she was a little girl like mm -hmm. it's probably between the ages of seven ten wow Ooh, yeah. wow yeah and I, it's her, I feel like I won't say it's her mom's fault but yeah her mom actually sent her on an errand to cross that expressway <laughs> you know but yeah man I'm, I'm most importantly I'm just glad she's alive yeah and yeah and a lot needs, does need to be done for the, um, the street children out mm -hmm. there because, oh, anyway, let's try and pick it up again. Because yeah. It is a Friday yeah, yeah. and this is good music. And we are trying to, you know, all of us out there listening are giving Scales a hug right now. Even yeah. though he's saying he doesn't trust us, so we trust you <laughs> and we love you. Okay? I appreciate it. I appreciate so you, I'm sure you both of you are diving into different aspects of your careers. Mm. Chris Beach, you're not just a producer, you do lots of things. Yeah. You know, what, yeah. what else do you dabble into? So um, I'm a producer songwriter dj uh, uh -uh. yes and i also have a music school oh yeah. so you teach the youth as well yeah. oh nice yeah. i hope your, your school is free <laughs> <laughs> okay and um skills i see yeah. you're diving into acting too yeah Ooh, what's that how how exciting is that have you always Man. wanted to act or yeah funny thing is all my friends know i've been saying oh i want to act in a movie but i've not found the right one and so but what i've been doing is everybody i know that is big it has so maybe that is big like what they call their charts again the movie charts and stuff yeah. they have like big movies either yeah. on netflix or in cinemas i just reach out to them send them dms hey i want to act <laughs> like, they, <laughs> sometimes they laugh they'll say lol they mm -hmm. say really <laughs> some some of them will say okay I, when i get, have a project so one of them amazingly just hit me up just jjc skills he just hit me mm -hmm. up he's like yo i have this movie star studded he has like everybody the day and me he has a uh, I don't know about all the other people, but a lot of like Very big names. Faces. I was like, when I saw, I was like, yeah, I want to be part of that too. Yeah. He gave me my role. I was like, wow, this is so <laughs> dope. Like, I get to do so playing? many bad boy. Scenes. I'm a bad boy in the movie. Obviously, now look at you. It's called, it's, called, it's called Seeking Justice. Um, you know, we're still shooting. And um, I love it, man. When I watched it, I was so I was so proud of myself. Like, uh -huh. wow. <laughs> no, uh -huh. yeah. So it's coming soon. I think I'd like to do that too. You, you know? want to act too? Yeah. Give me give me some lines right now. Get into so the for no, 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 no. <laughs> so I've done, I've done, I do film scoring for like, I've done a lot of movies. Don't want to mention names. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've never actually, you know, been 
on screen to actually do it. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I want to act too. Let, let's let's col- collab. Yes, so, <laughs> I think I think Scales think cool. <laughs> I'll play the bad the baddie. Who? Oh my God, plots. So both of you are in love with me, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're both trying to win my heart. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know? How I mean, do you know we are not in love with you? The right eyes now? never lie. I can see it in the eyes. You can see, right? you can see it yes, in my eyes. Yes, I can see it in you're the eyes. You're a beautiful woman, man. <laughs> She's I mean, a beautiful I mean, woman. If Scale said it, it must be true, right? Yeah, it is true. <laughs> a beautiful woman. All right, so we do have to bring this one in very soon because I do not want to let you guys go. I'm having it too much fun. Yeah. Um, Before I, I let you, I do want to ask you about this whole conversation that's been happening both overseas and here in Nigeria as well. We know how the boys, the, you men are getting a little bit sassy. We, we love you men, but you're getting a little bit sassy. So in the mm-hmm. US, we know how Drake and Kendrick have been going back and forth. Mm-hmm. Are you both fans of rap? Of course. Yeah. Hip hop? Yeah, you mm-hmm. seem like. So what's your whole take on this whole beef world? And in your opinion, who is winning, Kendrick or Drake? Men. Okay, so for me, I'm a Kendrick's, uh, I'm a Kendrick's fan. Yeah. But... I, I've, I've never known, I was just telling my manager, I've never known Drake to be this rap, rap person. I feel, I feel like he's, you know, the dance, dance type of yeah. guy. But the way he came on both, uh, what's that one? Is it uh, Family Matters and this thing? Crazy. And the new one. Yeah. Yes, crazy. Love, love what he did. But Kendrick is winning. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you of the same opinion, Scales? Well, um, I've always known Drake to be one of the greatest yeah, rappers, yeah, like you give me. Yeah. So for me, I listen more to Drake than mm-hmm. I listen to Drake more than um, Kendrick, honestly, because I'm a Kanye fan and I feel like Drake sound is like yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of that, that, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. so those are the kind of hip hop I listen to, but rap music I listen to. But for me, I feel like, to be honest, I feel like it's a draw because when you think this person really? is doing this, because if I want to say a winner, bit. For Kendrick, based off of the fact that he came back to back, yeah. gives him that upper hand. Sorry, based on the fact that he came back to back, gives him that upper hand. But you need to listen to the last one Drake dropped. Okay. Yeah. That okay. is crazy. Like, let's. I know that pe- a lot of people. I don't know why people are beefing Drake, but you need to listen to that last one. Lyrically, I feel like everything that Kendrick. Yeah. Has so done, the reason I think that's what I'm saying. The reason Drake, why I think Kendrick is winning is because. When you're battling, you don't address too much. You don't explain yourself too much. You know, mm-hmm. just address it and then attack. Yeah. Don't be defensive. You no, but, but that's what Drake did. No, but he was he, being because, defensive. Because he, he attacked. You know? he, what that story of being a pedophile is a serious oh. story. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. a serious yeah. story, bro. So yeah. he has to. He has to. Especially when you also have a kid and you're, you're like who you are. You have to explain uh-huh. that. You know. Because really, he's right. If he was a pedophile, he would have been arrested by now. Yeah. But yeah. Yes, I also read. I also read a comment. I also read a comment that said, "Well, it took how many years to get R. Kelly?" So. <laughs> oh no! You know, so he has to. Yeah. He has to. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, mm. so that's what's happening mm. overseas. Now, the conversation that's happening here in Nigeria, you must know, is how a lot of people are trying to run away from this whole being tagged an Afrobeat artist. Mm. And I'm sure both of you, are you still very true to the to the sound and to the culture? Scales? What, 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 well, how I'm, do you describe I'm, yourself these days? I'm, one thing I'm going to... I understand what everybody's, you know, trying to do. You know, they don't want to be boxed in and stuff. But at the end of the day... Whether we like it or not, we still need to preserve a certain, our legacy. Because whether we like it or not, this Afrobeats that everybody is saying, oh, you have no Afrobeats, I am this, I am that, is what made them know. You know exactly. What I mean? So if you, you want to go and follow them and do R&B and be lost, mm-hmm. when you have your own lane, because of, because of how crazy the movement has been, the Grammys had to acknowledge a category for us. Like, it's just a no-brainer for you to just wake up and say, oh, no, I don't do Afrobeats. I feel like everybody that is saying oh, he doesn't do Afrobeats anymore and Afrobeats is the reason why you got to where you are it's just being ungrateful mm-hmm. and it's insulting the fans that have supported and helped to make sure that this this movement is being preserved and respected mm-hmm. so anybody that's saying for me no I don't mean no disrespect no insult to anybody I really don't care if you feel disrespected but, as your but <laughs> my own is I just feel like if you're saying you're not doing Afrobeats anymore but you were like the, one of the people that was saying oh Afrobeats are on top now you're just being ungrateful at this point and you're being you're being um 
coward. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Because you have to take this thing with your full chest. You know what I mean? It's better if you have said, oh, Afrobeats, but we have this, just like you have hip hop, where yeah, you have okay. different, you. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It would have been that. That like it's cool to even say, oh, now I do Afrofusion. It's part of Afrobeats, but it's Afrofusion is Afro Arab. Yeah, I mean that would have been smart. But I just feel like now we're using our own hands to destroy what we have built. Yes, that's exactly what we are doing. And like I said, anybody that is against the Afrobeat movement and is talking nonsense is just being a coward. Like mm. because you've worked so hard, and now all of a sudden, because you see, oh, there's a Drake. I want to be like Drake. I want to be like <laughs> mm -hmm. these guys. You don't see them you. disowning their own yeah. at um, all. You know. Because you're pretty much insulting everybody else. So, yeah. but yeah, shout out to everybody, man. They're doing good. Mm, like I said, I meant no disrespect. <laughs> but if you feel disrespect, <laughs> dead, I don't care either way. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what about you, Chris Bates? Anything to add on to that, or do you agree? I mean, I feel like he said it all. You know, if if something has brought you to a particular point, you know, you don't just neglect that and say, oh yeah, I don't give a you know flying earth about this. You know, so yeah. Hmm. Especially if you feel disrespected, please. True by that. All means. True that. Very well said, gentlemen. I agree with absolutely everything you said. Unless you get into trouble, then I do not do anything. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining me. This was a fantastic conversation. To you, Skills, we are over here at Beat 99 are hoping you, you know, find people in your <laughs> life that you can trust again. Good friends, good, good women. There are a lot of bad women out there. So yeah. please shine your it's eye crazy, very, man. very well. All the ones with the... the it's not every big booty and small waist. Hmm. Sometimes a nice that's, heart. That's, look I think that's, in. But how would you know the hearts now? I don't know. Just problem look seat. past the no, big booty. <laughs> I think, okay, okay. I'm just going to say, I think one of my problems is I'm booty. Man. Just, <laughs> just, just, <laughs> I think that's part of my problem. So at least, you, because, at least you can identify the problem. Yes. So you know where to start. Yes, it's not easy. I've tried. I'm an African man from Nigeria. How? I've tried. Do you know how many times I'll see I'll see one pass. I'll do like this. My eye will be. I want to see it still. You know, so that's the problem. So much so he made a whole song with different languages. Yes, man. Anyway, yes. Anyway, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. So thank you so much, man. Can't wait for the joint project to eventually come together. And when it does, please, please, please come back and have another conversation with me. Yeah. Enjoy your weekend. Any weekend plans? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm performing today at, at the. Um, I don't know if I could talk about it, the NBCA. Yeah. Ooh. Um, they're doing the culture day today, so I'm headlining and I'm performing alongside Chris Vitz. Uh -huh. Also, On stage. you know, our, our two tracks that we just released, <laughs> we're going to, you know, put it out there. And I honestly, um, I just want to say thank you also for having us and everybody that's listening right now. We just put out two songs. It's called Break Your Back and It's Going. Go. Yeah. You know, so stream that, you know, come to my page, send me a message, talk to me, I'll reply, man, I got you. Hey, skills is definitely for everybody. He is loved and he is will be loved. Okay, so you, hear you. Yes. you too, Chris Beats. And yes. I can't wait to see both of you on the screen. You in the yes. new film and you. You say you want to do it, so let's let's do it. Twelve thirty-seven on the beat, ninety-nine point nine FM. It's still hot topic, so do not go anywhere. But I have great new music coming your way. Chris Beats and Scales. Go. It's going. <laughs>